Avengers, a children's crusade, number one, Alan Heinberg and Jim Chung. So good. So I was excited about this. Now, we'll just point out, I actually skipped this part, but it mentions here that this was started before continuity is going to be an issue here. Right. And so that's just something, you know, if, if you've been waiting for the Young Avengers, you've been wanting to see them, you're just going to have to accept some things aren't going to exactly match up. You right. know, they, they mentioned Captain America. Is it Steve Rogers? Is it Bucky? What's going to happen? Just overlook that. Read the story. See mm -hmm. what's going to happen here. Because we got Wiccan and S Speed. I think his name is Speed, his brother. Because yeah. they're like, are we Scarlet Witch's kids or not? And the thing is, where is Scarlet Witch? We know Witch? our parents. No. Yeah, you know, it's kind of this this idea of, of transmigration of souls to, you know, that, that they're using in order to explain the relationship between Wiccan and Scarlet Witch. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I really like Young Avengers. Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't wasn't on board when it came out because I'm like another book with a bunch of teens. I don't need that, and they got they want to be. So I picked up the trade, and I was like, whoa, I really like that. I gave it a four. Okay. I mean, I was I was really looking forward to it. Great art. I just there's just a couple. The kids were a little whiny sometimes. You think I, so? It's like they had their, their kids, but I don't think they're. Kids aren't really like that. You know, from, from my days of teaching, I know they're not all, you know, some of the attitude or whatever that they got. What? They're not like, okay. Teenagers have major attitude problems. But here's the thing is, these kids wanted to be Avengers. You know, the Avengers were gone. This was after December one. So they like looked up to the Avengers and everything. And then now they're just like, oh, you know, screw the Avengers, you know. That's not it at all. They just felt like they weren't being respected. Oh, yeah, you're rating. Let me get into it. I gave it a five. Really? Yeah, I really liked it. Oh. The, the premise here, I can basically say, is young Avengers are fighting. Mm -hmm. Wiccan whoosh, does this crazy stuff with his power. Yeah. And the other Avengers like, oh, crap. It's like the Scarlet Witch all over again. We get, you know, is there going to be a problem? Got to be careful. So they want to analyze Wiccan, and the other Young Avengers like, no, you, you can't. And so, so that's where the conflict comes between mm -hmm. the Avengers and the But Avengers. they were trying to strong arm him. Mm, not in so many words. And Captain America doesn't strong arm people. He's like, hey, come on, we're gonna go here. They're even, they're even, they, they, they Wiccan takes some flying. Like a jail cell. It was a, not With a jail. With two separate beds. Well, because they weren't condoning anything. But Captain America's like, let's go. And he's like, oh, you want to fly? So okay, so he goes, Wiccan says, let's fly there. He makes Cap fly. And Cap's like, okay, great. And now, obviously, if, if it's not like they're handcuffing him, taking him. No, because no, no, Because no, Wiccan no. could have just threw him in a tree and I was talking about the dialogue. I don't know. I wasn't talking about it physically. <laughs> You're coming with me, Mr. Kids with their misunderstandings. Which you know, I'm adults, a kid, so adults know better. Parents just don't understand. Yeah. But then at the end, oh which you can't mention anything, gosh, I but know. it's like finally, this is what I've been waiting for. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing is, you know, we, we still need to know what's going on with Scarlet Witch. Because last yeah. time we saw her, she was in New Avengers when Clint returns from the dead and he finds her. She doesn't have any memory and then they hook up and then he wanted closure, but then he's like, okay, whatever. She doesn't know she is and that was it. He doesn't tell anyone. You know, so no one knows that he knows where she's at, and because they're all talking about you know, where is she, and they want to know. So it's going to be interesting to see if that's going to come out. Anyway, I'm I'm so excited, and then when we hit the end, it was just it was just awesome. Yeah. It was cute to see Wiccan's relationship with Hulk, Hulk Queen. Hulk Queen. I felt too. that it it didn't. But quite it did feel, feel a little bit forced. Yeah, that that's what I'm saying. It's like yeah. they're they're a gay couple. Great. That's that's awesome. Yeah. You know, let's you know, let's see that once in a while in comics. But it did, like you said, it felt like it was just too forced, like some of the dialogue and because I, I don't really remember that so much, like in, in their other appearances when you know they first hooked up or whatever. It and just, if they're gonna it, talk about them making out, then they have to show them making yeah, out. Yeah, why not? It's like, and then they come in, whoa, well, you're making out. It's like, no, they're and, not making out. And they, it was they funny they interrupted them. It was funny, because, like here's where it felt forced, is where Hulkling refers to their relationship as partners. We're partners. Like he couldn't just say, "Well, he's my boyfriend." Yeah. Pick a Marvel comic couple. Hawkeye and Mockingbird. Okay, you know Clint's not going to be like, "Well, she's my partner." Yeah. You know, she's my, she's my significant other. Yeah, no, she, they wouldn't say that either. Yeah. She's my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. She's my fiance. You know, she's my partner. 
Yeah. I think if it was an older gay couple and they were saying that, oh, he's my partner, mm -hmm. then I would understand that. But they're both kids, so I feel like he, he would say, oh, this is my boyfriend. You yeah. know. And yeah. I'm, I'm glad that you know they're back on here because like when we had the the dark Young Avengers, which and just like the other appearances, it's like I don't know what it is. It's like you know when you got like the creators of a team or a character. And then you get someone else working on it. It just it doesn't feel. It the doesn't same. feel the same. So I was so excited when they came back, and I'm mm -hmm. so excited we're going to find out about Scarlet Witch. But is and maybe it was some expectations that lowered it for me. Yeah, it just, definitely. So, but, but I thought it was great. Yeah, because we're going to really find good. out what's what's going on. Mm -hmm. and everything's going to blow up. Maybe we'll get mutants again. So maybe. Avengers Children's Crusade number one. Go get it. Go buy it. It's really good.